Nah, I can't relate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that's because you're driving a truck by yourself, so it really don't matter. <laughs> nah, I definitely uh. I've definitely had that dumb ass shit happen. <laughs> shit be a bear. And this when you watching the filthiest shit too. <laughs> they be watching fucking grandma sneaks. Yeah, I was about to say <laughs> grandma sneaks through the kitchen. It's terrible, man. Stop watching Granny Porn, man. Y'all people are filthy, yo. You ever just notice the porn categories that are out there? People are filthy. Yeah. People be bugging the fuck out. I thought I was bad. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We back another week, another episode of BYOB. It's your boy, Regular Ja. I am your host. I got my co-host in the building. Hey, man. We out here. Kyle, you know 80 saying? proof. My, my nigga, Kyle Kraft. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. I mean, yeah, but no. <laughs> I'm not getting locked up get for buying prostitutes in the shady part of B. <laughs> Buy my prostitutes online with some respect. This shit bigger than Nino Brown. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, man? Hey, man, we here. Another week. Yeah. Another day, another dollar. Same shit, new toilet. You already know. Trying to take over the world like Pink in the Brain and shit. Facts. You know what I'm saying? It's going to come. It's going to happen. As y'all notice, uh, our lovely co-host Pam is not here. She's somewhere doing what rich people do. Yeah. Which I can't relate, but I'm sure Kyle can probably fill y'all in on what rich people do. So well, Y'all got to stop letting this man lie to y'all every week. I am poor. Broke. Yeah. I need donations his, too. His like normal everyday car is a Hemi, so it's a, it's a 2012 that's, Charger. That's the <laughs> that's the horsepower. I was gonna say, <laughs> I almost said a Charger. That was gonna be a lie. That's a that's a male thought car. That's what that shit was back then. Yeah, that ain't that definitely ain't gonna help you. But nah, the, that that was the horsepower he was talking about. <laughs> 2012 horsepower. Funny how people judge you by the car you drive. I mean, what else we supposed to judge black people on? This is true. Let's say it. We got to do better, man. Your car is not a status symbol. <laughs> well, yeah, we got a lot a lot of a little bit to unpack this week. Uh, as always, we start with music. We do. Now I'm saying? I don't know exactly what, what they've seen or heard because, you know I'm saying, him and Pam have both been ignoring my group text for like a week straight. I'm horrible at texting. Trying that goes out to everybody. To, I'm just the worst texter. Trying ever. to act like they didn't even see the shit. I'm the person that I start to respond, but I leave that shit in my inbox as a, as a draft because I never <laughs> hit the send button. This is bad. Or I tell myself I'm responding five minutes from now and yeah, yeah 12 hours later. Shit, so. shit. Where we start? Matter of fact, that's a dumb question. You got to start with the greatest what, the, what the the greatest fuck? album that dropped this week. Two Chains. What, I, that's why I was tripping. Like, where did we start? Rap would go to the league. Lord, man, the, the, the intro, it took me at least an hour to get past the intro. Yeah, Two Chains is consistently fire, man. Lord forgive, but no, this this album, I said that, what was it? I think it was the, the episode when uh when Ryan was here. I said, I feel like this is going to be Two Chains' best you album. You did say that. This is going to be his that. best album. You did say and that. And I, I stand behind that now. I definitely feel like this is his best album. It's a good body of work. And that was that's hard to do because Pretty Girls like trap music was dope. Yeah. It took me a while to pick up on it, but once I actually listened yeah, yeah, to the yeah. album. But I think dope. that's just that's two chains anyway. But this this one, that shit was instant. Yeah. Like I I was locked in early. I like that joint he got that nice wonder produced. Yeah. That shit was fire. This Told him the beat was so dope that Jay could be on it. I heard something like that. He asked Jay to be on the album, and Jay told him the next album, something, <laughs> something like that. You know, Ho, Ho want to see what this one do. Yeah, he want, <laughs> but now nah, Ho fuck with Two Chains though. Yeah, they, he, they, he picked the right time for features, man. When you get a feature from Ho, it's usually right on time. And he picked the right features. Yeah, like that was free shit is still fire on the Meek album. Yeah, he talked on that. Yeah, that's a fact. But now nah, I was talking about Two Chain. He picked the oh like, yeah, the album, yeah, yeah he yeah, picked yeah, the yeah. right features. Cause that's yeah. what I thought you was talking about. Yeah, Jay. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. Jay is. Jay is the goat of everything. We not even gonna go there. Yeah, he he definitely know what the fuck he doing. Wait, who two chains have on the album? Yeah, he had uh, Kodak and Chance on one song together. Yeah. He had Young Thug. Yeah, Young Thug. Cool. He had Ty Dolla Sign. He had Ty Dolla Sign. Oh, uh, the uh, the one the one feature that's gonna kill the summer. Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande, John. Oh, with the Amory sample? Yeah. Man, that shit's gonna be crazy. 
He definitely got a banger with that. That shit gonna be crazy. That shit is gonna kill the summer. Quote me right now. I'm saying this shit. That shit is gonna fuck the summer up. You gonna make him a lot of money too. <sighs> what? <laughs> he knew the fuck he was doing. Um. Who else up there? Who else up there? I think that's it as far as features go. Yeah, pretty much. I, I mean, said I Young Thug up. already, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, he ain't having <coughs> like a heavy feature joint, but the ones he had was right. He did have Kendrick on the album. Oh, yeah, Kendrick. Can't I forget fuck, Kendrick. Yeah, I'm tripping. Yeah, the shit with Kendrick, it was kind of weird, the first the first run through. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I wouldn't expect nothing less, though. Marsha Ambrosia was on the on the intro. Yeah, that's she was just, she's just the album, bro. That ain't no feature. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't no feature. That was a fucking, I don't know what to call that shit. <laughs> that that was a duet. <laughs> Shout out to Philly. <laughs> that was a duet. That wasn't even no feature. She set the album. She set the yeah. fucking tone of the album. She fired though. They've been flowetry and yeah. Yeah. yeah They've been fired. It's flowetry. But yeah, nah, she. Um, I still want to smoke Marsha Ambrosia boots too. I'm, I love Jill Scott, man. I smoked them. Way, way before that video came out a couple months ago. That like, video I really won't Jill even. Scott. That video won't even. Yeah. If you know Jill, you know Jill been yeah. nasty. Yeah. Since her first album. Yeah. Since we talk about <laughs> women, uh, Solange dropped. Yeah. Solange dropped. Uh, Did, I started listening to it today. I didn't get a chance to get all the way through because it's 19 fucking tracks. Yeah. No, I didn't. I got about halfway through and everything yeah. I heard so far I liked. It was a vibe. Yeah. She's definitely Solange. Solange is just a vibe, period. Yeah, I fuck with Solange, man. Her first, I mean, her first album. Well, you know, I still didn't the albums the before. Album. Yeah. Before uh, was it Cranes in the Sky? Yeah. The, the, when, yeah, like I don't count them. So her first album. <laughs> so, no, I'm saying like, because I feel like she found her her artist, yeah, like she her, found her she, she found her artistic identity now. So it's like the the shit that she's putting out now is. It's Solange, like you already yeah, know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But yeah, nah, it's dope. Solange um, might be better than Beyonce. Yeah, I said it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. I don't have the, the actual facts to back that up yet, but in my heart, I feel like she might be better than Beyonce from the vibes that I've heard. In, so. this, in this heart of hearts. Yeah. This man here dropping, throwing $2,000 cell phones And it's around. fucked up because the camera on now, so it's like, it's, shit is way more awkward. Like. <laughs> I'm trying to get used to just being on camera and not being awkward and shit, and it's not. I don't think about it anymore. Nah, I don't. Like, I don't really think about it until I do dumb shit like that. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> whole, world, whole world see me fuck up. <laughs> Niggas fuck up. But that's the fucked up thing, because that's the one part of the whole video they're comment on. Right. And it's coming out, this nigga dropped the goddamn phone. <laughs> but yeah. uh, who else dropped? Oh, T-Pain shit dropped. I didn't listen to T Pain, but I heard it drop, and I know T Pain album going. I know it's gonna fire. Be yeah, I yo I I let it run. I was in the gym early. I let it run when I was in the gym, and uh, the last track, the shit with him and Wayne. T Pain got hits, and when him and Wayne get together, it's usually uh, it's usually a dope song. Oh, this one, this one is different. It's a, oh, it's fire, yeah. but it's not like the radio. It's a hit shit. He oh, talking yeah. about how he fathering niggas. Oh. Oh, man, I, T Pain got hits, man. He was running. He was like a feature king for like two yeah, years when he was. That's really what he was talking about in the song. He, like, was, he said he saved he saved some niggas' careers. He did. <laughs> he did. He said that shit out of his old mouth. Yeah, niggas like, hooks. I I saved y'all niggas. He came out and said, "I'm in love with a stripper." I felt that. <laughs> I mean, I relate. Yeah, like that, man. <laughs> I relate. If you haven't fell in love with a stripper, you haven't been to the right strip club. Yeah. You might not know her name, but you know that you love her. <laughs> uh, who else dropped? Oh, the baby dropped. I didn't listen to the baby album. It was it was all right. I got. I think I got all. Hey, I miss mad music. Three songs, week. three. Yeah, you know I be on it, man. Yeah. Cause of this. Yeah. Now I'm saying I be on it cause of this. Like Tuesdays and Fridays, I'm in the motherfucking joint scrolling. They keep saying who the baby dropped. can rap. No, he, he. He's saying he can rap. Heard the production wasn't. As good as it should have been, but yeah. again, that's third party. So, I mean, you know how fickle motherfuckers' opinions be when it come to music and, yeah. and and artistry and shit. Uh, who else dropped? Oh, I was right. gonna say y'all gotta stop taking music so personal, but I understand why you take music personal because that shit personal. That shit gets yeah. you in life. I mean, it's subjective and shit too. But yeah, I mean, no, I get what you're trying to say. Like, stop 
thinking that motherfuckers have to feel like you feel yeah. about, <laughs> about some shit. Motherfuckers There's a lot of shit we can agree on. It's just trash. Like, yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. It's funny. Y'all tell these popular artists that they music trash, but you don't tell your best friend that they music trash. You got to be honest, people, man. Because <laughs> they hoping their best friend blow up with the trash music so they can still be there. Be. So they can still be there. But then again, it, like, I you feel like... You got to tell them it's trash so they change the shit. And when they blow up with the new shit that they got on, be like, nigga, I told you that whole shit was trash. I'm glad yeah. you switched it up. Or even, like, even if you just tell them, like, it's trash, rather, however they receive it is on them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it has been songs where motherfuckers have... And that's another thing. Artists got to be able to get told that they music. They got to be able to be told the truth about what somebody really feel about their music. <laughs> wow. Perfect intro. Um, I did catch Offset out. Offset dropped. Oh, yeah. We missed that last week. Hey, Cardi should have told him that that wasn't it. <laughs> that father of four shit was, was horrible. You're, there's no way that your girl should have that banging ass album. And, and when she listen to your shit, she don't tell you like, babe, this ain't it. She don't love you for real. That was payback for him cheating. That was payback. So I'm, gonna <laughs> nigga, I'm gonna let this nigga drop a trash album. He got his girl back though. He been looking. He been yeah, look like yeah. the happiest motherfucking puppy in the world, boy. Yeah, nigga, Cardi nasty. I be the happiest nigga too. Nasty. And she on the way up. The level that she had yeah, now she ain't was, even reached yeah, the level that she had now was retarded, yet. but she on her way up. She ain't even reached her pinnacle yet. And the crazy thing is, is like, no matter, yo, how can you not fuck with Shorty? I didn't fuck with Cardi at first. Like, yeah, when she was on I'm 11, I, like, I didn't watch Love yeah. Hip Hop, but I didn't, just her personality and shit, I couldn't, yeah, yeah. she seemed too out there for me. But it's, over the years, she just grew on me. But no, nah, that's what I mean. It's like, the reason why I say that is like, because she unapologetically hurt and she still. And I got to respect that from anybody. all these endorsements from people who you wouldn't think would want somebody, you know what I mean? He's not going to say it. White people are giving her money. <laughs> John won't say it. I'll say it. White people giving Cardi money. <laughs> she got into a fight at the at the, the fucking fashion show shit. And then made the cover like. And then still made the cover. Like, they like still giving her money. Later, Pepsi signing. Like, two months on. later, got I'm the goddamn bag. Yeah, she on it. I seen some shit. Uh, Master P and Jeezy talking about dropping a joint album. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> and Master P and Jesus This ain't fake news though This is real I believe like, it I really see Double XL had posted this shit I really don't want to hear that Jeezy last couple albums And I'm a Jeezy fan But Jeezy last couple albums Have not been it I don't know what the fuck Master P is going to be rapping about I don't even want to call you Master P anymore You're Percy Miller At this point you're grown Like you got a lot of money You did a lot of shit I respect I mean, the legend But yeah. I do not want to hear that album Yeah what the fuck in 2019, what does a Master P Jeezy album gonna sound like? I don't know. <laughs> I can't even fucking imagine. Like, it, it, it can't be too trappy. Drop a Nana Na Na remix and call it a day. <laughs> Make him say, uh. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't know what to do. The next album for Jeezy as better far be as fire. being a fan. <laughs> as far as being a fan, I don't know what to do. Jeezy is a real life Jeezy fan. Your next album better be fire. Cause the last couple have not been it, man. Niggas is niggas are two chains. Like they put niggas under pressure. Yeah, yeah. Niggas is dropping. They put niggas under pressure. Like it's to the point now where you have to have a fire album. Yeah. Like for for at least the last year, you have to have a fire album. And Nipsey set it off. <sighs> he set the shit off, and then. Like dog, Nipsey's you, overly consistent though. No, you have to you have to drop a fire. If the if the body of work ain't fire, if it's like ten songs and like six of them fire, like you you fail. Yeah, you fail. You almost, <laughs> almost fail. <laughs> that shit used to get you by. Yeah. Nah, you got to cut the filler out on the albums. Yeah, especially unless you got them doing nineteen twenty track albums where you can still but. Who the fuck is doing I that? Hate, I hate I hate 20-track albums, yo. I don't need to hear no more than 12. Yeah. And let, like I could if you got skits and you got little yeah, then I can you take got a little skits shit in, in between, you know what I'm saying? But now shit, artists is putting skits at the end of the songs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or at the beginning, instead of making them their own songs. So that way if you don't really want to hear the skit, you just skip it, but they still get to play from from the song and shit. So I still ain't listening to that double Chris Brown album. Chris Brown album. Uh, not I, I listened to, to a shit. song a day since it dropped, and I still got like fifty-seven songs left. Yeah, 
I don't have that much time <laughs> in my life to dedicate to one person. <laughs> Like, nigga, how nasty can you be for that long? Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Another lighter. Always keep backup lighters. Oh, shit. I was going to say, how nasty can you be for that fucking long? Like, who? Yeah. That's a lot of music to try to goddamn. Uh, who else dropped? Oh, Sammy. R&B. On the R&B side. And that shit. That shit fire. That shit fire? Talking some grown man shit. He ain't got no honey, no. That shit was dark, too, though, when Sammy yeah, dropped saying, that shit, Yeah, I'm saying, but he ain't on that, though. Yeah. He ain't on some, you know what I mean, romance shit. I like it. <laughs> Used to got that yeah. bad to shit. Yeah, that's that roller skating ring shit, nigga. <laughs> this nigga Kyle used to got there dance in the mirror to that song mm-hmm. when he was a kid. Two-stepping. Yeah, then, now, you were bouncing. You were doing it, got there Drew Hill bounce, but fast. You stupid. Uh, I don't yeah, know if we not. talked about it on the last episode. I don't know if when it dropped. Mozzie and Burner dropped. Yeah, we just kind of, I think we just kind of announced that it dropped and kept it moving. like yeah, Which was fucked up because I fuck with Mozzie heavy. Yeah, I fuck with Mozzie tough too. And, but, and the album's a good album. Definitely. The production on it was dope. Yeah, nah, that's just, so. but Mozzie always got that production though. Yeah. Like he's, like I, I think his ear for beats, for, for his lane is, is up there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I don't think Mozzie been here yet, has it? Virginia. I don't think so. Make that happen. I don't. Does this nigga leave Cali? Is Mozzie? Is this nigga on papers? Do he leave nah. Cali? Like, <laughs> shit, ain't knowing that nigga. You never know. You that never motherfucker. Know. Might, he might got there. Got to wait. He might have to get that paperwork filled out. We gonna find out. Mozzie be wilding out, man. Publicly. <laughs> real niggas do real things, man. Be wilding out publicly, and then rapping about it. Like fuck it. Um. But yeah, nah, that that shit was fire. Um, I think that was pretty much it. Yeah, I mean, we got a little bit of music news. What's up with your man's, bro? Who? With your man's, Who? your man Future. <laughs> you talking about that? <laughs> what's, up? what's up with Future, man? Hey, no, no, with Future. Future did what the fuck he wanted to do. I don't believe that shit was on Future, but fuck, you talking about what he told it? No the fat, fat girls. The fat girls in the club. <laughs> I mean, I can talk shit because I'm fat too. But I mean, if yeah, the, that's if, a fact. I ain't. If the nigga got a preference, the nigga got a preference. And, and the night all about him, nigga, he get to make a choice. Like, I don't want no big bitches in here. <laughs> Sorry, big bitches. And it's not to say that y'all not attractive. I, you know, hey, but that's what the man chose. I think the DJ was mad, and you know why I feel like the DJ was mad. Why? Because he didn't get to play the wobble. You stupid. <laughs> <laughs> You're dumb. But that ain't even like <clears throat> when no, you, you go know, to, hey, don't act like when the wobble come on the the, the, the heavy set joints don't got them. That ain't they motherfucking WWE theme music to the to the dance floor. Big girl set the party off, man. Yeah. No, they get it they get busy. They walk in there confident as shit. Yeah. They buy their own fucking drinks. They ain't worried about shit and they yeah. get party. Yo, that's one thing I say, big girls got a confidence that nobody else I've ever seen on this planet has. And that's a fact. They definitely some of that shit I don't shit know, wear. I don't know too many broke big you girls. You wear that shit. I don't know too many broke big girls. Big girls definitely get their own money. Coming from a fellow fat person, you can't be... When you fat, you can't have too many other flaws. You can't have many other. Like <laughs> Being broke ain't gonna cut it, though. That's why, like, you can't be fat and stink. Like, it's just like, you gotta, you gotta pick a... You gotta pick a struggle. You know what I'm saying? You gotta figure something out. Everybody mad at the future. People like, well, you can't have a preference anymore, man. Yeah. I mean, everybody act like you can't have a preference until it's time for them to have a preference. Exactly. <laughs> and if you go to these major cities, they've been excluding people from clubs for the way you look, and that ain't mean, nothing new. Duh. Nigga, that's, I've been turned down from clubs because, goddamn, my jeans was too baggy, and it was like these. Like, yeah. nigga, any tighter, these are skinny jeans. Like, nah, bro. I'm not putting on skinny jeans for no Nah, bro. I'm too big. What Ain't nothing on me skinny. Why the fuck my jeans gonna be? Yeah. Tapered jeans. Be no, sir. Can't do it. Go. Yeah, so shit. Uh, let's rotate the sports. <sighs> I definitely want to start this by saying, fuck you, Bryce Harper. Welcome to Philly, Bryce Harper. Fuck you, Bryce Harper. We're on the opposite sides of the fence about that. Welcome to Philly, Bryce. And um, Andrew McCutcheon. I definitely thank you for the years that you gave us. But fuck you now. You fucking traitor. Phillies World Series coming this year. Like, bro, you really gonna let 330 million come between us? But 
That shit sound wild as a bitch. <laughs> Three hundred and thirty million dollars for thirteen years. I wish the motherfucker would ask me that and be serious. You gonna let three hundred and thirty million dollars come between us? Yes. <laughs> There's shit. not a person on earth that I wouldn't let three hundred thirty million dollars come between, except my mother. Yeah, that's it. Like, and my son. Like that's it. Anybody else? Yes. How much space? How much? Yeah. Distance, how much distance you want to create? Because I'm gonna send you across the fucking world, bitch. <laughs> Get out of my face. You gonna let it come between us? Yes, nigga. However, however much space that shit requires. Absolutely. Maybe it's because I've never had money like that, but I think when you get a certain type of money like that, the only shit nigga changed. who ain't gonna be fucking happy by $330 million is Bill Gates. I think. <laughs> and that shit might. That shit it's might still gonna hurt Bill Gates. Like, if Bill Gates wake up and realize that $330 million is missing from his account, that's a number that he's gonna recognize. Like, yeah. He's gonna be like, God damn it, I gotta go to work tomorrow. Make that back. So, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, I gotta go make that shit back tomorrow. Now I was gonna call it off. This goddamn it, they fucking me up. Like the owner of uh, Amazon, Jeff Bezos. Yeah. When he split from his wife, would she get like sixty? Oh yeah, we, we two sixty eight something like that. I forgot what we talked about. Yeah, like, I, and this is billions. I'd have had that bitch killed. <laughs> <laughs> Not giving you sixty eight <laughs> billion dollars. The fuck I look like. If I have what? 60, you know what I can do with $68 billion? I can have you Any killed and your you body would disappear and they'll never know. Anything you want to do. I'd have called yeah. Donald Trump like, how much you want for the wall? All right, I'm going to pay for the wall. This bitch just got to get gone. Like, she can't, she got to go. $5 billion. $5 billion. That's, I mean, that's cheaper than 68 Cheaper than 68 I'd have gave him $5 billion to build the wall and she got to disappear. That's the stipulation. She got to be on the other side of the wall. Man, you going to Jimmy Hoffa her, man? Nick. For sixty-eight billion, yes, yes. <laughs> Not a question or like, yes. Jimmy Hoffa was a burger. That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna put in a, in a meat grinder and send her ass to the goddamn chop house, slaughterhouse, whatever the fuck they call it. Random. Since we are on tonight, and it's, I think it might have just came on. Um, that never that leaving Neverland ranch shit. Oh. That shit on HBO tonight. I forgot. I forgot all about the shit. I seen one little jump. Cause ain't nobody talking about that shit. Don't nobody want to see Mike disrespected like that. Yeah. That shit gonna break up friendships and family feuds gonna start. Somebody grandma gonna have a heart attack over this shit. Like somebody gonna lose some money. Somebody gonna die. <laughs> people people do not play by Michael Jackson. Hell no. And that's not even just black people. That's white people, Asians. Like <laughs> people just don't play by Michael Jackson. No, Michael Jackson was like. When that shit was going on, they were so thorough about it. Like, they was badgering the kids. Like, oh, he molested you? What color was his dick? Like, damn. <laughs> like, wait a minute, nigga. <laughs> like, yo, you remember that shit? I when do. They was like, yo, what, what, what color was it? They was going ass. They was going like, find damn, out. Damn, cuz. Like, <laughs> they people don't play about Mike, man. Uh, they, they was not playing. When Mike died, people took off from work. Yeah. Like, that shit was big. Yo, that shit crazy. He died a day before my birthday. I'm surprised they let these people who shot this movie live to make the movie. I'm surprised somebody didn't kill him. Yeah, no, he's like the highest form of Illuminati, if it really exists. I can believe that. If that shit do exist. Can y'all call me? We need we need sponsors. Send me an application. <laughs> Sign me up. We need sponsors, so. i just tell you, <laughs> the only people I'm not willing to sacrifice are my mom, my sister, and my son. Yeah, anybody we gotta, else? We yeah. gotta figure something out. If y'all don't need Kyle on the show no more, hey, man, whatever gotta happen. <laughs> as long as, as long as we got. Matter of fact, what code say for ten million dollars? I kill myself. I kill myself. <laughs> it's a lot of money, <laughs> man. That nigga said for ten million dollars, I kill myself. But yeah, nah, that shit gonna be. It's gonna be all the talk. So next week, we probably going to cover this shit. This is going to be a gonna be, shit show. This shit going to get ugly. It's going to be all the talk. Because I'm probably going to watch it. But I don't know if I want to. I didn't even watch I ain't watched it. Yeah, I was about to say. I didn't I, I never. I didn't see a, a minute of that shit. Like, I don't want to. Really wasn't nothing you could tell me that I didn't know that R. Kelly wasn't already doing. And the guy still stepped in the name of love. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, Yo, and that's another thing. So I'm all cool with the R. Kelly boycott, right? But a boycott is like you're not supporting it anymore so i'm trying to figure out like all the shit that i bought way back it's already purchased i already own it like it? can like is that part of the boycott i just can't listen no more or yeah. i just can't support like put money in his pocket like uh, that's tough because chocolate factory is, is a great album yeah tp2 i mean 
So. I mean, the nigga made classic. He's just a fucking. I just want to separate. He's the, just a filthy fucking human being. I want to separate the artist from the person. Yeah, and then what's the stipulation? It's like, all right, is it like the Kaepernick stipulations where if he get that money or he get signed, he get back? I mean, R. Kelly done got locked up, so is that like the R. Kelly? R. Kelly about like, to beat this case. Nah, you gonna beat that shit. R. Kelly about to beat he this case. Beat he's been beating cases since they had video proof of this nigga and he beat it. You think he's not gonna beat some he say she say shit? Yeah, and now everybody got videotapes from the nineteen nineties yeah. VHS tapes. Man, nah, they got them. Got a little iPhone app. And again, I'm not saying R. Kelly ain't do shit. But nah, I, I, I definitely think that nigga is a dirty, filthy motherfucker. But anytime they give you a bond, you got a chance to beat the case. That's how I feel. Yeah, that's a fact. Cause they feel like you're not. If they feel like you're not a flight risk, yeah. they know that shit ain't that 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 thick. But yo, but what are you saying? Training day. It ain't what you know. It's what you can prove. It's what you can prove. That's it. So we know this nigga's a fucking dirty, vile, filthy motherfucker, but we don't have no proof other than the the, the, say, the hearsay shit. But anyway. <laughs> the lady that uh, bonded him out, they said somebody called in a bomb threat to her daycare, y'all. People are wild. Oh, shit. Yeah, man. Y'all got to chill. Y'all take this shit. I mean, I guess it was one of your family members. I understand why you wilding, but it ain't one of your family members. Y'all take this shit way too personal. Let's, let's roll in the in sports. Oh, we we already wrote it. We was sports. in sports. I think okay. I kind of. I, I, off. I went off. I did that. That was my fault because I bought up the Neverland shit. We yeah. were talking about Bryce Harper. That's Welcome to Philly, did. Bryce again. Um. So you said fuck Bryce Harper for going to Philly. I agree, bro. No, nah, I definitely agree with that. You no, know, I'm Philly everything. But nah. Um. So this is this is kind of music and um, music and sports. Cause I gotta, I gotta know what's going on with this nigga, but I gotta big him up for that two chains album. I was about to say rapper go to the league, nigga. Yeah. LeBron A and R that shit and uh he that's a that's a great first album to be under <laughs> to be under your your stamp. So. That's dope. LeBron out here making major moves, man. Yeah, you man. You gotta respect that man. Yeah, man. Uh uh-huh. but what's going on with him lately though? He's it's like he uh he just can't He's he seems like he's going back to that that early stage LeBron where he didn't have that killer mentality. Yeah. He ain't had that fourth quarter that, All right, that, that's that time second, take over the second game. season with Miami's type shit. Yeah, 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 that's when it really started. That's when I started to see a little killer instinct in them. And you playing in L.A., man. You got to have that Mamba mentality. Uh, especially following the names that L.A. has has motherfucking catapulted into to goddamn I, legacies. You talking about Kareem. You talking about motherfucking Kobe. You talking about yeah. magic. magic yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Will. You got yeah, you Whip calling still like come on man. You following a great legacy. So if you, you gonna, gonna, gonna if you gonna do this and you gonna out. fuck up, you should have just went to the Knicks, my nigga. <laughs> Nobody expects nothing much from you when you go to the Knicks. And maybe it's that same kind of thing in Miami where it took some time for them to gel. The Western Conference is a lot harder conference. Well, it typically was up until this year. But I didn't actually I, expect I, to ever go I to still the West. Can, I still can say it is. I mean, not saying the East is slack because the East is picked up without LeBron, but like you talking about Houston, you talking about Golden State, you talking about uh, Memphis, you talking about, which I still don't understand how the fuck Memphis is on the Western Conference. It beats the shit out of me, too. Um, You talking about, damn near every team in the West for really except the Pelicans. I was at Utah, Utah <laughs> tough. I was going to say, damn near everybody but the Pelicans. Denver tough. So yeah, you got Again, a lot of tough. everybody but the Pelicans. <laughs> That's why AD trying to get the fuck out of there. Y'all need to stop. Don't even wrong. I believe LeBron is one of the greatest basketball players they ever played, but y'all niggas make a lot of excuses for this man. Yeah. Yo, I seen one thing. Nigga said uh, he was trying to tank the season so so they could get the boy from Duke. Oh, yeah, Zion. We don't say his name up here. UNC all day. I'm also a Duke fan. Shout out to Zion. UNC all day. We play y'all again next week, too. Yep, March 9th. We gonna see y'all. y'all We we gotta get some payback. Zion probably gonna sit out to that game. What kind of payback? The win. Against UNZ? Yeah, man. Y'all only won because Zion got hurt like the first 30 Bro, I'm not trying to hear that shit, man. <coughs> I, I'm, glad, you know, I'm glad we on sports. I'm not RJ, trying to hear that. RJ, how many, how, you many, know, I, how many All-American All-Stars y'all got on y'all team? It's like three. Four. <laughs> how many was on the court besides Zion? Like three or four. RJ had a... How many we got on our team? I have no idea. One. Because I don't give a fuck about y'all. I think like one or two. Y'all, y'all got it lucky. We underestimated y'all. y'all how got many seniors y'all got? Starting? Seniors? Not many. 
Yeah, y'all ain't got music. Yeah, they ain't got many scenes. I wish. Everybody told me. I just wanted to talk shit, but I, 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 I lay it wrong. Y'all, y'all try to W for the <laughs> I lay it wrong. first. We gonna but see bro, y'all again. He could sit out to that game, and we we gonna show that he not the he not gonna be the difference maker. He's one man. No one man should have all that power. <laughs> it happens. That's what I was gonna say. Y'all need to stop uh, covering for LeBron too. Yeah. They always say he ain't got no team. He ain't got no team. Man, that nigga got a bunch of young niggas around him that can ball. No, you talking about? Nah, I watched the game the other night against Brandon Ingram can ball. Yeah, ball his ass off. Shout out to Duke. Motherfucking um, they. I mean, they make some dumbass decisions sometimes. Kyle Kuzma can ball. Kuzma can definitely ball. His inbounding is that was weird. Why he tried to give it to LeBron? Rondo's still one of the best passers in the game. Yeah, and I mean his three is there. Not Rondo. I ain't gonna say Rondo it's like shit. No, that ain't that ain't a clutch three. I just said it was there. I ain't I ain't say his shit was a game winning motherfucking Robert Horry three, but yeah. he can he can hit a few. I think the only person he shoot better than is is Ben Simmons. <laughs> ben, I need you to get a jump shot. Man. Damn you. Yeah. <coughs> ben got to get a jump. He can shot. probably shoot better than Lonzo too. Yeah, Lonzo jump shot. I can probably right shoot NBA. better than Lonzo. I really forgot Lonzo was in the NBA. Is he? Where the fuck is he at now, anyway? I think he's still sitting on the L.A. bench. That was a hypothetical, uh, I mean, rhetorical question. No. <laughs> I really had to think about it. No, his defense is crazy, though, and that's the thing. Like, I, I feel like I, I still stand by the fact that I think he's a lockdown defender. Yeah, he has, I know he has the ability. He just don't be. have nothing much else going. Yeah. He can't score. He's not really doing too much of nothing else. So. He'll be going for me in a few years. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, what else sports related happened? Anything else? Not that I uh, not that I track. I was, I'm I didn't really get to look. Oh, I'm tripping. Bones Jones won last night. The fuck am I talking about? Oh yeah, mm-hmm. there was a fight last night. Tyron Woodley lost. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce the motherfucking name, but he won. <laughs> Called that Medita Sharipov, whatever the fuck his name is, and look for Kyle if you get offended by the way I just pronounced your name. All right, fine, that's fine. Shout out to Robert Kraft, man. Yeah, we we, we didn't get to talk about it last week. But shout Kyle out to Kraft. Robert Kraft, man. That nigga in shady massage parlors buying pussy. Two hundred dollar pussy, if that. That's a real nigga. He hanging yeah. out with he especially, hanging out with Meek and shit like that. Especially when you got the bread to, to get like the upscale two thousand a night joints, and you just like, nah, I'm I'm going to give me <laughs> yeah. a happy ending. Fuck happy me. ending, B. Straight like that. We'll pull up to the massage parlor in my Bentley. And <laughs> he like, I'm going ending. to get this happy ending, and that's it. That lets me know that y'all got to stop putting y'all pussy at such a high valuation. It is not <laughs> your pussy ain't worth all that. Nah. If a billionaire getting two hundred dollars <laughs> blowjobs and shit, your pussy is not worth a, a Louis Vuitton bag. Kyle Crab hit you with a look, baby. I got this forty dollars. <laughs> I did. So I did a study, man. I like, got this forty. The average rate of pussy is about a hundred dollars. About a hundred dollars. That makes sense. No, but that's the like. I really feel like in now times you'll pay more for a date than you'll pay for. Like just flat. You pussy. will. <laughs> like, you will. You'll pay more for a date you than you'll spend more than hundred dollars on a date. You can spend on some pussy. Yeah. To just get some pussy. Like. And you spend the whole date trying to entertain her, hoping you get the fuck. <laughs> yeah. Save your time, B. And she hits you with the. Well, I had fun. Yeah. See you next time. <laughs> you using niggas for food. Then she texts you. She attack. That's the night that she gonna text you. Like I made it home safe. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't care. Nah. Was hoping your tire blew out on the way so you can call me back. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's what. Look, and that's like it's some shit like that happened. That's when you gonna pick up thinking she trying to call you to come back. Whole time. Oh, she, not <laughs> she about ten <laughs> miles away and needs you to come rescue her. Young me was a dirt bag, man. <laughs> she'd call. She'd have left my house and not gave me no say. She'd have called me. I might not have picked up the phone. <laughs> Yeah. Like yeah, the the, the chance is blue. <laughs> Fuck it. Robert Kraft, that 
prostitution charge gonna disappear. Yeah, that shit is. Come on, man. This man's a billionaire. No, the craziest thing though, they said he's not even the biggest name in that shit. Probably not. That's the shit that blew my mind. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I wouldn't <laughs> know what type of happy endings it was giving out of these places for these billionaires to be going. Like, yeah, and what's what's the name of the place so I know, you know, not to go there just in case. No, they shut that shit down. Yeah, that shit is out of there. You have to say that shit was involved with sex trafficking, <laughs> which I'm sure they probably didn't know that she was involved with no sex trafficking. A lot of a lot of people with money <laughs> going there. Hey, we just, I'm gonna assume. <laughs> That's, that's, a fun, the, that's a fun up allegation to put on somebody. They knew what the fuck. I feel like all massage parlors got a little something going on. It's just, you got to go there enough before they even invite you to the. It's like the, the one scene on Half Bait when he went in the bodega. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, black ass. Yeah. Like they, you got to do some extreme shit for them to trust you. So it's just like, yo, what you going to do? But I feel like they, I feel like all of them getting out happy ending. Hey, man. Some of them is just easier than most. Some of them you just ask, like, yo, uh, pussy come with this massage? <laughs> they just hit you with a knot. Does pussy come with this massage? <laughs> Other ones, they just be like, I, pussy? P pussy? What you? Shit's crazy, man. Yeah. I listen to that Breakfast Club shit, and they, had, they called in asking people if they ever paid for pussy and how much they paid and shit. Like, even listen to that. Like I said, the, the average I got was about $100. But people were saying some wild shit. Like, they was in other countries. They paid $12. And, yeah, but hey. you got to think, man, in other countries, what $12 might be. $12 might be, like, four U.S. dollars. Yeah. <laughs> like, Prostitution shouldn't be illegal. Sex trafficking is horrible. But yeah, no, nah, that's, yeah. that's trash, but... Willing people who want, like... Nah, if a woman just... Yeah. Would, you gonna tell her she can't... It's hers. It's hers. You gonna tell her she can't make money off of it? It's because the government can't tax it. That's the only reason why the motherfucker probably. Exactly it. Cause that shit legal in Nevada. People to an extent. Pussy was just the beginning of the time. Of course. Man. They said that prostitution was one of the oldest careers. Of course. I wish. I wish you could still give a chick a, a sack of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> like back then, I have these stones. I have a sack of stones for you. <laughs> I need that. I need that le poussoir. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, shout out Pam, man. She gotta get back here. Yeah, we need that that fucking diabolical shit that she be saying yeah. out of nowhere. <laughs> Pam would just flips some shit. You know, like yo, I got there. I, I went to Krispy Kreme. Yo, you know what else looks like Krispy Kreme? Come, like yo, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like Pam would just flip it. Like yo, you know what I could do with some Krispy Kreme donuts? Pam funny man. Yeah, Pam funny as hell. But yeah. Anyway, uh, life topics. <laughs> somebody, I don't know. Somebody told me this, so I'm gonna just put it out there. Fuck it. I, it. It would have been better if she was here, but we, I, we can ask it again next week. Making the first move. Is that shit? Is that shit as awkward as it's supposed to be? Cause I feel like yo, most of the time I feel like. You can read the situation and, and know yeah. what move to make, you know what I'm saying? Or, like, if you should go ahead and try to go in and make a move on it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Niggas still try to put my hand on your thigh for a minute, see how far that goes. <laughs> she gonna just got the um, hit you with the hand. Yeah. That shit ain't go. Uh, yeah, that shit is awkward. It can be. Yeah. I think you just gotta say fuck it and try it. Shoot your shot. No, and then, I mean, the only thing that's fucked up is, like, you should already kind of have an idea, though. Yeah, but it's a 50-50 chance because it's, you know, it's been times when you feel like, oh, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the signs and signals are there, you yeah. go in, and she's like, yo, what the fuck? What the fuck you doing? <laughs> Shoot my shot. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah, I just happened to get there and hit the backboard. <laughs> <laughs> I was wrong. Can't believe me for trying. Yeah, you got to shoot your shot, though. Yeah, no, I, I feel like shooting your shot is more important. But it's like, yo, now females is like. I was like, women getting aggressive. Yeah, like they make, they making the first move. And I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm with it. Yeah, it <laughs> At least aggressive. I know. You know what I'm saying? I, I know, thoroughly know what the fuck is going on and what she, what she, what's on her mind. Females jumping in DMs. They proposing to niggas. Females <laughs> aggressive. Yeah. No, nah, that's, matter of fact, fuck the second topic because Pam ain't here. So. We gonna we gonna finish this and that's that's the next one. What aggressive female? No, nigga. Oh, the proposal shit. Cause I got some thoughts on that. 
But um, <laughs> I got some thoughts on that shit there. But yeah, man, I mean, and the first move can make or break what happens moving forward. Yeah. Because, like, you might you might be having a dope-ass night, dope-ass time, the day of your life, and you make the first move, and now she think all you want to do is fuck. Yeah. I just... So you it's should like, not try to fuck on the first night. Unless you know it's there, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you know, but... If y'all, if you really just trying to entertain her, just go out. Yeah, yeah it ain't... It ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Especially if, especially if the first date went dope. She yeah. definitely, like, like, if that shit went right and y'all click and y'all vibing and shit, she ain't going nowhere. You know what you do? Just jerk off before you go on a date. No, there's something about Mary. That shit gave you the gem of a lifetime. Jerk off for you. Post-nut clarity is a real thing. So what did Wayne say? After I come, I come to my senses. Yeah. Like, that'll let you know if you, re- if you really there because you like shorty or if you just had that on your mind. Mm-hmm. You ain't really got to fake entertain her in that bullshit. You can really see if you fuck with her. Yeah. You just sitting there looking at like, yo, this bitch chew like Mr. Ed. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you were trying to get some pussy. You you stuck it out, though. Yeah, you wouldn't even have looked at her mouth. You'd have been thinking some other shit. Like, damn, look at them lips. But yeah, post night clarity is like, yo, this bitch chew like a goddamn cow. Well, and, not, and not Doja Cat. Not that kind of cow with that ass. You stupid. What happened to her? She disappeared. Nah, oh, she just dropped the album. I ain't listened to it. She should have disappeared. <laughs> I ain't listened to it. Not not for nothing, but you know, just the, I just didn't. I I just didn't get the. I'm not gonna listen to it. Either. <laughs> I ain't get the chance. Just to... gonna write the trash with that Jeezy and Master P album. <laughs> you gonna listen to the Jeezy P? I'm not. That's what. That's gonna be their group name. <laughs> it's gonna be Jeezy P. No, you ain't listen to the Jeezy P album, man. Nah, nah, the Master nah. Jeezy. Nope. So this is gonna go one or two ways. Either they gonna be, <laughs> either they gonna be talking about their life of now, <laughs> which I don't think. I honestly don't think I'm uh, gonna be too in, too intuitive or goddamn listening to what the fuck they got going on in life collectively in 2019. Not at all. Or they're going to be talking about the old dope boy stories from the 90s, which I think we probably done heard it all from both of them by now. Yeah. Yeah. But P should, he should remake Mr. Ice Cream Man with like some dope trap niggas, though. It? He got to fit it. I could do with a couple remixes. I can do with a couple remixes. Yo, man, he should do that. He should just drop. Yo, he should drop a remixes album with like all his fire shits, but with nothing but all new niggas. Yeah, and just, but he gonna rap on all of them though. He first verse too. A collaborate. I need to hear a Rick Ross and John Legend album. I'm here for that, cause they they have not they have not dropped a dud yet together. They don't miss. They Whole, do not fucking miss. Whole album that should be fire. What was you about to say about bitches proposing them? And I say bitches. Rich know. forever is. Still one Say of bitches, Lucy. Songs. Women, women are proposing yeah. to men. I'm sorry. We don't, we don't know your names individually. Yeah. But uh, nah, when I, I say that, I don't mean it in a disrespectful manner. Nah, it's no. never disrespectful. I, I don't even really just throw bitch around all willy nilly anyway. But I say it a lot, but yeah. I, I mean, I just use it a lot. Period. Yeah. But again, yeah, I don't. I never use it when I'm mad though. Yeah. Like I never use a disrespectful term. So. Unless I'm talking to a nigga. But yeah, so that second topic, uh. Women proposing. <laughs> yeah or nay, you with it? If Shorty got down. So, Matt, so I'm going to paint the scene for you. <laughs> paint a picture. I'm going to paint the scene this. for you, bro. So, she take you to an Eagles game. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the Eagles is playing the Redskins, and y'all up 21 nothing at the half. So, you in the, in the, in the fire mood. Halftime show, come on, they doing some shit. You see the little plane fly across the little banner. Kyle, will you marry me? And then the camera zoom right on to you. And then she just get down and do the shit. <laughs> when a situation like that, that shit mad extreme. But I'm not going to embarrass her right there and there. So I'm going to say yes on camera. I think I have to say, I don't know. Because if, if not, I'm going to embarrass her. But by saying yes, I'm embarrassing myself. 
Bro, I'm a piece of shit. shit. The whole shit is an embarrassment <laughs> to begin with, yo. Like, oh, but no, nah, no. All the videos that I've ever seen with the chick and, with the chick proposing has been some extreme shit. Like yeah, they do like what a, a nigga people, would do yeah, for his female. Around. They do it, yeah, no. Nah, I ain't with it. I probably just firmly look at her like, yo, get up. Yeah, we're not about to do this. <laughs> like, get up. If I really felt like I wanted to marry her, I might tell her to. I can't even can't even take the ring from her and give it to her because it's you for own me. camera is right there, yeah, so like, it's like, yo. So you saying yes? Uh, so you letting her take the one thing away? I can't. I I don't think I can say yes, B. I if you go ask me to marry you, we need to just be like laid up in the bed together. You need to look at me like, yo, so you trying to marry me or what? Like on some shit like that. <laughs> on, some, don't, on some regular conversation. Yeah. Like, don't invite my motherfucker. Yeah, my mom to the shit. To watch. My parents to the restaurant. And I'm thinking we just going to eat hibachi. Yeah, and all okay, of a sudden. Yeah, proposed to me. All of a sudden, I look down and the chef got a heart in the rice. And everybody just starts standing up and turning their phones on. <laughs> like... <laughs> You know what time it is. I can't. Like, that's, you that's, look too, down. that's too aggressive for me. That's too aggressive for me. I would much rather you couldn't be like, look, nigga, you need to propose to me or I'm leaving. Like, yeah. you got to get this shit done. I feel like if that's that's the, probably the way to get me to propose. Like, nigga, if you don't propose to me, I'm going to propose to you in front of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> like, like yo, I get your ring next weekend. Yeah. <laughs> I get your ring next we going to break up. <laughs> One of the two. <laughs> or we not together no more. Like, yeah, that's the thing. So it's like, yo. But no, but women, like, they do extreme shit like that. Yeah, because they, they think it's romantic. They think it's beautiful. Like, they, the women who are like that, because I ain't gonna, we ain't gonna act like every woman is motherfucker. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. But the ones who really out there like that and they actually want to take care of their nigga, that's the kind of shit they do. Yeah. They treat their nigga on August 5th, some random day of the year, yeah. like a nigga supposed to treat his girl on Valentine's Day. Like they just do random dope ass shit. Yeah. I don't. I never happen to look up on none of them. But oh yeah, most of these, don't get me wrong. I love women, but yeah. most of these women in the world are savage and trash. Not trash, but y'all are savage. The world has definitely turned in that in that sense. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. For some reason, I I, I yeah. feel like if she know her man, though, you should know that if he gonna go for some shit like that, like you, she should know how he gonna react to her proposing to him. Chrissy knew Jim. She ain't give a fuck. She proposed on national TV. Yeah, she did. That was tough. <laughs> we Yo, don't think that, any less about Jim Jones. So. Nah, I, I definitely don't think no less about Jim. Mm-hmm. I mean, they still ain't married yet, but... Yeah. See, that, that's what I would do. <laughs> like, just to teach you the lesson, like... Yo, no, you see, gotta wait. If you'd have let me propose, <laughs> we'd have got married a couple months after I did. But now, we we gonna wait. We gonna be engaged for 10 years. <laughs> And I'm going to keep hitting you with the, well, I mean, we ain't going nowhere. What, what's the rush? <laughs> or hit them with the, uh, with the line that they like to hit niggas with. I just want to make sure it's perfect. Women, women, are, I, I want to make sure it's perfect a nigga to death. So do you, do you become the woman in that situation completely? Like, after she proposed to you, do you start planning the wedding? <laughs> she, I, yo, you got to, you, you going to have to take charge. <laughs> you going to have to take charge. Help me out. Yeah. I'm saying no. It might be fucked up, man, but yeah, I'm I'm saying no. I can't do it. I mean if you say no with an explanation, it's not fucked up. It's not fucked up if you but say no, period. If, if you like somewhere in a crowd, ain't ain't gonna be time for no explanation. Number one, they gonna boo you. <laughs> the crowd gonna She's gonna boo. cry. She's gonna cry. And she gonna think about all the bread that she just spent mm-hmm. to the uh, the fucking the the tech team at the stadium to pencil <laughs> that shit in there because that shit costs a little money to, for them to do that. Or I, so I believe. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Uh, that's tough, man. Don't put me in a situation like that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if you don't put me in a situation to embarrass you, I won't embarrass you. Yeah, that's. Especially you know me, you like, but I feel like a woman that I deal with, if we ever get that deep, she's gonna know. Yeah, she like, would know. Not to propose to me. Not with that shit. At least not in public. Cause that's some shit she would ask you. She's like, she should ask you that before. Like, how would you feel if I proposed to you? I'm like, yo, like a bitch. 
like your fucking woman. Yeah, like yeah, don't propose to me. Don't even don't even offer me a business proposal. <laughs> no, we could definitely get more together. Nah, I'm bullshit. Yeah, I'm a hundred percent bullshit. You already know I'm bullshit. But yeah, nah, yeah, don't young crazy say if you love me, baby, get some money with me. Get some motherfucking money with me. But yeah, that shit yeah, don't propose to me. I'm definitely gonna get booed by the crowd. <laughs> they gonna boo me. They gonna boo me like we had a motherfucking WWE concert. I mean, kind of concert, but you know what I mean. WWE event. They gonna boo the fuck out of me. I'm gonna be the biggest heel ever. They gonna think I'm goddamn Hulk Hogan when he turned to the NWO. They gonna be throwing trash and shit at me and everything. See, I know me. I feel like if I propose to you and you say no, our relationship is over. <laughs> yeah, that's it. We did. Yeah, the point is being together. It's dead. When you ready, you come holler at me. I might still be around. Yeah. Especially, like, for the main fact that most times, and I'm not saying every situation is this way, but most times the 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 proposal and the marriage and the wedding is for the woman anyway. Yeah. Very much so. It ain't us. I could just live with you for 13, 15. Forever. We can, we can do the common law marriage shit. I'm cool with that. We can go to lawyers. We can get some papers written up so you get, you know. <laughs> Custody this shit. If I die, you got yeah, responsibility like, to make decisions over my life. Over. I could definitely make you power of attorney mm-hmm. over me. You know what I'm saying? I don't got to marry you to do that. Not at all. So, but that's, yeah, all that shit is for them. Like, the, the wedding, nobody give a fuck about the groom at the wedding. I've never, I've that's never seen a, the, a wedding be about the groom before. We'll start a service for people who don't want to get married. They just want to be together forever. Yeah. So y'all get all the right paperwork in order. So y'all still get this shit straight, but y'all that's just not it. married. That's it. But yeah, don't propose to me. <laughs> I'm probably gonna say that shit ten more times. But yeah, don't propose to me. But no, nah, yeah, all that shit is for them. Like, and shit, I. Yeah, if I propose and you say no, we definitely. That's it. It's quiet. We're done. Fuck it. But yeah, shit, man. This is a good week. We can wrap it up early. Topics yeah. is low. Pam won't hear, so I want to kind of reserve. We're going to reserve the, the the topics I did have outside of these ones for next week. I need to go home and soak my body, nigga. I started going back to the gym this week trying to lose some weight. This shit hurt. But diet, <clears throat> dieting sucks. I was going to say, that's what hurts me the most about trying to lose weight is I can't eat the fuck out of it. Dieting sucks. I'm trying this keto bullshit that everybody on. Yeah, I got some, some, some steelhead trout down there in the refrigerator. This shit looked like salmon, but it tastes better than me. I think I lost like... Three or four pounds in a week. I wasn't yeah. impressed. No, nah, that shit cool. But I got to stop fucking with these beers, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm drinking that. That's like a loaf of bread. Two weeks. But I drank, I drank down there. I try to drink a gallon of water a day. I try to. I drink a lot of water. I drink a lot. Because I drink a lot of liquor. Yeah. So, I like to keep the inside of my body clean a little bit. Yeah. That's a fact. But yeah, man. Any positive thoughts for the week? Oh, man. Um... Uh, <laughs> What's the first of the March? Oh, shit, it is March. My birthday at the end of the month. Oh, man. Um, finding Aries and love on them, man. We're great people. Uh, do what you... Hey, man, if you want to raise at your job, ask for that shit this week. I just feel like this is the week to do that shit. If you know you've been busting your ass at your job, you deserve a raise. They ain't giving it to you. Just go ask for that shit, man. See how this shit work out for you. Yeah. Shit, all I got to say is uh, Skittles don't bounce and clouds can't swim. So sometimes you just got to take a leap of faith and eat a Snicker bar. Well, see, I swear this nigga be smoking with me. <laughs> <laughs>